That's what they That's what they with Jay Nasty Out here, you're in here looking for chips. And slim gems and shit. You ain't gay, is you? Huh? Are you gay? You ain't gay, right? My man. My dog. <laughs> My young. It's just so sickening to me that this grown man asked a six year old. There's booty cheeks in the in the in the other liver in the living room. Like, what are you doing in here? You're trying to get a cookie and slim gems. Like, but we wonder why the black community is how it is today because of people like him and many other um, black men that have like you know this stigma against um, gay people. Which you know you don't have to accept or respect gay people or anything like that, or even trans people. But do you know like yeah, we coexist. A lot of us coexist, but you know. You shouldn't try to coerce your child into like doing sexual things or looking at sexual things because you're you're an insecure man. Like he's giving very much Boosie. And do I need to like refresh your brain a little bit? Boosie literally hired strippers to go and give his son, his twelve year old son, and his nephew Felatio. And this is what we should be doing, like towards children. Like it's disgusting. And see like People like to come for me and be like, oh, you only say it's about the gay community. You only say it's about the trans community. You only say it's about this, this, this. No, I'm very consistent on my beliefs. Like, if you're straight and you're doing this, I think that you should be under the jail. I think that there's penalty for you. I truly do. Like, I think that it's perverted. I think that it is very wrong to do this to these poor children. And, like, you know, I understand, like, the mom isn't sane either. Um, I've watched videos of both of them. Like, they're not sane human beings. Like, these people are out of their minds because of, like, the culture and how, like, and what they were grown up on, you know? And these these men, especially in the black community, they want to, you know, they want them to grow up to be thug and, and like, you know, drugs, strippers, this and this and that. And they think that that's, like, the best way to go. But, like, I mean, look at him. Does this man look happy, like, with himself? Like, he doesn't look happy. With all that money, with all those girls in that living room, he is not a happy person. He's not. And now he wants to inflict that same unhappiness on his babies. And it makes me so sad and i really hope i really wish that people in the black community would actually speak on that instead of just letting it go by like let's post the story and just like let's move on to the next thing like this is nothing to move on from this is insane